We went to the vet a couple days ago and everything is pretty good. Little Maggie right here, the yellow one, has a small heart murmur. The vet thinks there's a good chance she will grow out of that. We're hoping so. And uh, Bella's fine. They both have, as you would expect, some uh, intestinal parasites. Hold on a second, folks. Let me get control of this gimbal. Here we go. Sorry about that. Um, but uh, the good news is, is they see, otherwise seem healthy. Uh, Bella, the white puppy you see back there against the fence, and Maggie, the yellow one, is um, she is 10 pounds, 3 ounces, and Bella is 12 and a half pounds. Um, this is the back of the tool shed that I've got to clean up this summer. Um, they love it back here for some weird reason. I guess different smells and all the twigs and stuff. They love picking up the twigs and branches and running off with them. So, it's a big deal. Um, let me get up this piece of wire. I don't want somebody getting stuck. Give me that, love. There. There. I moved it out your way. Um, anyway, come on, love. Come back this way. Maggie, come on. Come on back here with me. Come on. The reason I don't want them far away from me is because we have had a hawk patrolling the neighborhood for some time now. So I saw him early this morning. He was over those trees right there. And he was looking hard in those treetops looking for squirrels. But think about your puppies when you let them outside, if you let them outside. Because they are easy pickings for a big hawk. Uh, a hawk could easily carry off one of these puppies. They can carry up to four times their own body weight. So these two wouldn't be too difficult to carry off. Now, that being said, they're growing very quickly according to the vet. He said they're in a growth spurt. Oh, we'll turn away from that, give her a little privacy. Um, Maggie's playing in the bushes, which is fine. I, don't, I would rather them play in the bushes and be out in the open right now because hawks are pretty quick. But I'm old and I move slow, but I guarantee you I can close a gap on a hawk trying to get my dog. I guarantee you that hawk will not make it off the ground. I'm not just bragging, I'm not just boasting. I'm saying I will give my everything to protect my puppies. Up oh, again, she's still doing her thing, so we will walk back over here. But yeah, we have been uh, looking for a hawk. Well, keeping eye out for him or her because they are an imminent threat to your puppies. <clears throat> That's something you gotta think about. Barn owls, also, uh, I've, I've seen a white barn owl out here a number of years ago. I don't know if it's still around the area. I haven't seen them since then. Barn owls are also a raptor and they can and will take advantage of an opportunity for your puppies when they're outside in the evenings. That's not to say that barn owls don't hunt during the day. They have been known to hunt during the day. They prefer at nighttime. They've got the vision for it. They've got the ears for it. There's less noise at night. So they can hear better. And barn owls are massive. I've seen a barn owl with a wingspan of six feet. They are absolutely massive animals. I will not be comfortable with these babies being out here on their own until they are at least 30 pounds. 
and we're not even halfway there yet with these two so when they go out I have to go out uh, because and I try to stay as close to them as I can when they play when they do things because I'm not gonna let my babies get swept off by no bird of prey but I like to make sure that the babies get plenty of time outside to play and run and and bite sticks it's uh it's good for them and it's good for me too i need to stay off my behind and get outside but just try to remember that if you do have puppies or new puppies and you've been letting them outside without watching them just be cognizant of the fact that there are birds of prey who will absolutely take off with your puppy also remember coyotes are are notorious for running off with puppies and cats you'll see vi different videos on youtube about coyotes attacking attacking dogs they'll lure them off if they're too big and then the whole pack will attack and kill your dog unless you're like a, a great pyrenees or a a, a packy pit have you seen the size of those dogs that is what they do. They are livestock guarding dogs. And these are not livestock guarding dogs. Bella is a more of a blue tick, healer, and lab mix. Uh, it's said that they are have some German Shepherd and Walker in them. Um, the vet doesn't see it. He sees more um, um, a blue healer. Um, he sees a lab in them and some blue tick. But he said he did not see any signs of German Shepherd in them. But we're just going to assume that they are. They're growing very rapidly. As you see, um, Maggie is, is, has a smaller stature than Bella does. Uh, he thinks that's simply because Maggie got more blue healer in her and Bella got more blue tick in her. So that's why Maggie's growing faster. Maggie and Bella, I mean, Ma Bella's growing faster, excuse me, y'all. And Maggie is growing a little bit slower than her. I'm about to transition these puppies to large breed puppy chow per our vet. They need, they are large breed dogs. Given the fact that they are um, Lab, German Shepherd, Blue Tick, Walker, and apparently Healer. Hey guys, we appreciate you uh, watching our video today and joining us on the channel. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give us a big thumbs up, smash that like button. Uh, please also subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already and make sure you tap that little notification bell so you don't miss any more videos. Uh, we love you guys. We appreciate you joining us today. We'll see you on the next video.